worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here, touching every. I worship you, I worship you, you are here, healing everyone, I worship you, I worship you, you are here, turning lives around, I worship you, I worship you. Absolutely nothing else for you or for me for the rest of our lives. What he has already done is more than enough. When you put that against the backdrop of eternity, you have a promise of eternal life for what Jesus Christ has done. He has already done more than enough. If we can get that one thought right, then what happens is we live our lives more content. We live our lives being more thankful. We live our lives uh, counting the blessings of God in our lives more readily. When we get that one thought down, that this life is just a precursor to a life of eternity with God. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. Never stop, never stop working. Never stop. Never stop working, even when I don't see it, you're working, even when I don't feel it, you're working. Never stop, never stop working, never stop, never stop working. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Those of you who put your hope and trust in Jesus Christ, you can live with the assurance of your salvation. And it came through the greatest sacrifice of all in our friend Jesus Christ, who laid down his life and forgave you of your sin. <laughs>